is the soundtrack of a better world. We are one. Welcome to the Progressive Birdhouse. darn near the end of june already but uh, that doesn't mean pride month has to end with just one month welcome to the progressive birdhouse my friends i am bird one of avian invasion and the next let's say 10 or 15 hours will be your refuge your getaway for progressive house melodic house and techno and other melodic thumping noises and hopefully you'll carry that energy forward when the show finally does end. But it ain't ending anytime soon. We're getting started with something from Nils Hoffman and Julia Church. Nine days. Oh, 
So hopefully y'all are doing all right this Wednesday afternoon. Lord knows it is hot here in Birdland. And by Birdland, I mean the Seattle area. It's been glorious and sunny for the last several days now. Scorching even by Seattle standards. And hopefully it will continue to be pleasantly warm. But let me know how it is wherever you are and where you're calling in from right now. I recognize some of you and I know where you live. But the rest of you, there are some unfamiliar names in the chat right now and I'd love to see where y'all are coming in from. So please, let us all know here. I see Amorpheus E-Bunny is saying it's 104 here in Arizona and all the European folks are like, that would be 104 in freedom units, also known as Fahrenheit, which I believe translates into roughly like, I don't know, four degrees Celsius. I, my math co-processor is broken right now. You'll have to look this one up.
my goodness, and out of nowhere here. There was so little chat activity, and all of a sudden, Matt C188 has a gift sub out there. Casey tossed in a couple hundred bits, and Brigitte Poe has tossed a hundred bits in. All within a short range of each other, so you guys know what that means. All aboard the hype train. Well, let's see how your energy levels are doing on a Wednesday afternoon because it's time to get this started. Every time a hype train starts around here, we start with an engine shot. If we make it past level three, then I play you an original track, which I guess will mean another original track. And any multiple of level five we beat after that, we do a caboose shot. So, somebody spin that wheel for me and tell me what. Ah, there we go. Matt C188 spun it already, and we're starting with the aperitif. Many thanks to Fuzzy Dirt for sending this bottle my way, and ooh, we're probably only two shots away from draining this sucker. So, as this train rolls on, thank you so much Everything for being a part of my together. weekly ritual and for adding to the excitement even on hot, lazy days like this one. So cheers to you, my friends. We will always be better together. Natolu tossed out five gift subscriptions, pushing us into level three already. There is life in this chat. Oh my goodness. They are absolutely outstanding. Surpassing my expectations. Oh my God. We could be what we need to be together. We could see all there is to see together. We could have everything we need. Together, 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 together. What that means is that clock is reset to about four and a half minutes. Oh my god, Pup Casey tossing in 69 bits. Nice. And you're only about 40% shy of getting another original track out of me. Together. I am actually a little surprised y'all are uh, this enthusiastic this early on. Largely because Lord knows I have felt lazy all day long. When it gets this nice and sunny out, I just want to sit outside and soak it all up and recharge my batteries. So thank you guys for being on the ball here. You got two minutes left. To see if we can beat another level here. In the meantime, I'm going to kick it over now to Casablanca with Am I Dreaming? Question mark. The 
invasion has chosen Kitar. on that clock. It looks like the train might be stalling out inside a level three. Which means I'll have that glorious uh, aperitif aftertaste in my beak. Oh, thank you, Rainbow Raver, for tossing one more out there. You guys basically only need one more subscription uh, just like that. Apparently, Isma Cat tossed a thousand bits out there, and the clock is reset, and you're getting an original track after this one. Thank you so much. already oh i kind of already did that because i never put him back after putting the uh, <laughs> after finishing that shot you got about two minutes and 20 seconds we're about a third of the way through level four and because you broke past level three that means it's time for another one an avian invasion original yeah, that's right another one off the new album that will be coming out sometime later this year this is moonlight rendezvous from yours truly off the album Into the Trees. Now, will we make it to the next caboose shot or the first caboose shot of this show? Well, that depends entirely on you.
60 seconds left on that clock. Whether or not that train stops, the vibe does not. And that'll do it. You made it into level four this time. Congratulations, my friends. That is a long way to push a train if you've seen literally any other channels. With eight gift subscriptions, 2,500 bits. Thank you so much for your support and for that toast. It's a way better aftertaste to have than the Malort, that's for sure. a track called Moonlight Rendezvous from yours truly. You can get the Officers Club version of that right now at avianinvasion.com slash Patreon. But the album version will be coming out very soon. Well, hopefully very soon. A little thing called Into the Trees, but for now we head to the sad part.
is Avian Invasion. It's been a hot minute since we've had... I don't even know what that was. Was that spam? Was that heckling? Was that griefing? Whatever it was, it was definitely not the vibe we're looking for here. So yeah, you got me on that one. They were definitely not here to join in this little celebration of light. wondering what that vibe is around here. It's very simple. You are alive. You are beautiful. You are not alone. Free your mind.
So I guess this one goes out to, well, whomever that was. I've actually already forgotten their name. This is Broken from Camilo San Clemente. Webster Leon has spun that wheel of shots and spent 12,000 seeds of awesomeness for another toast, saying, gotta go clean up, enjoy, and catch you again in 30. Well, you're gonna miss the toast if you're leaving now, so let's make this quick, shall we? It looks like it's gonna be the American Standard Saki, so speaking of cleaning up, looks like we're hitting the toilet, Saki. So this one goes out to all of you who are moderators here on this channel. My birdie senses were tingling and that all of your talons were hovering over the band hammer. So very, very ready to push the button. So this one also goes out to Zero Key Wolf here in the chat who sent well, pretty much every one of these bottles from Colorado Saki Company. In this case, the Toilet Saki, the American Standard. So here's to those of you who help me keep this channel running. Not just keeping me in business, but keeping us grief and disaster free. Bless you all. And thank you so much for your help. As Zero Key Wolf says, we gotta keep you well lubricated. You tell me what those bottles look like. In any case, welcome Rainbow Dash 1X. Welcome. The avian invasion welcomes you. You'll pay for every heart you broke. You'll live a lonely life as you grow. You'll get to feel the pain that you have. You 
spend a bunch of those seeds of awesomeness for a shout out. This one's a little tricky for me because it says Yinglet loves to be here. Uh, insert happy Yinglet noises. And I have absolutely no idea what those sound like. I mean, that could be like uh, mid 90s dial up modem noises, could be Fennec noises. I have no idea what kind of noise a Yinglet makes, but I'm glad they are, in fact, happy noises. And I'm glad you're here as well. It's been an absolutely wild ride over the last several years, going from having absolutely no clue what I'm doing to at least giving off the impression that I have a semblance of I know what I'm doing. If you check all the way back into the archives at avianinvasion.com slash YouTube, some of those early streams were a little rough around the edges. Okay, a lot.
like Matt C188 has spent a whole lot of seeds of awesomeness, 2,000 of them, to grab another original track. Well, after this word from Prof, we'll make that happen. In the meantime, we are starting in on the second hour of this show, as is usually the case on Wednesdays. I got a hard cutoff time of three and a half hours. That means 6.30 p.m. Pacific time. I got to get out of here. That means you got two and a half hours left, basically. So get comfy or get on your feet and start dancing. Let's make this the best Wednesday you've ever had. Steady 
center if you'll be my brave protector we can weather a great adventure anywhere we roll Fluctuation detected. Shutting down non-essential system. track called let's go officially drops along with the rest of the album into the trees i encourage you to join the mailing list at avianinvasion.com slash join i'll be sure to let you all know as soon as that one is available for the public but for now we continue on with the progressive birdhouse kicking it over to ed Steele with double take
Cash. Vision has chosen Kitar. has tossed out 10 gift subscriptions. Good Lord, that is, uh, that is, I, I, I am without speech. The speech centers of my processors have absolutely crashed. I'll be back in a minute.
original. Five gift subscriptions and Andraconics tosses one out as well. Thank you so much for that. subscribing on the back end of that. I have no idea what level that puts us into. I gotta look at the screen for this one. We're already up to level 5 which means you get another original track and for you newcomers here's how this works on this channel. Every time a hype train starts around here we start with an engine shot. If we make it past level 3 which y'all did in the blink of a freaking eye I'll play you an original track and if we make it past any multiple of level 5 and you're already 60% of the way through this one, so I may be pouring a double shot if you can do it in the next, well, in the time it takes me to get a bottle out and pour this toast. Any multiple of level five you take down, we do a caboose shot. And of course, if we bust level 10, there's the pirate song, but we don't talk about that. Anyway, did somebody spin that wheel? Because it, def it would have definitely gotten buried in all these gift subscriptions. Oh, Zero Q Wolf is actually calling one out here with the Shinpaku. All right, we can do that. That's right, you don't always have to spin the wheel. You can call them out if you want, just not the Malort, not the Moonshine. You know better. This is the Shinpaku Saki that they got me from the Colorado Saki Company right here. You cannot buy this in stores. You cannot even buy it at the distillery. You have to be part of their special social club. And they sent this little rare bottle my way. I keep saying little, and I don't know why, because you could beat a man to death with this giant glass tube here. No Pup Casey, Moonlord is not happening until the very end of the tip jar goal, but more on that later. 
Here's a toast to all of you newcomers out there, whatever species you are, whatever location or planet or parallel dimension you might come from, you are welcome here as long as you behave and treat others with respect. Those are the only rules. Otherwise, be yourselves. So cheers to you, my friends, for getting another hype train started and kicking it all the way up to damn near the end of level five so quickly. 40% more to go, and we'll chase this with a caboose shot. So since y'all busted past level uh, three so quickly, I will be bringing you an original track after this, but I did already have this one queued up. So let's get through this and I'll see what I can sing to because Howlwind also spent those seeds of awesomeness. You got about two minutes to see if you can take down level five and push us to our first caboose shot of the show. Tossed another one out there. We're 76% of the way with only a minute 20 left. Hide your love for me in the trenches of your broken heart that I came here to mend for you. And I know why you run to me when the fancy. Oh my goodness, Rainbow Dash, a, a relative newcomer here, tossed out five gift subscriptions. Pushing us over the edge and breaking. Hype train level five. All right. Well, I guess I'm putting the cover back on and we're doing a caboose shot. So you can either call it out from that list or you can do chat command random shot and see what it lands on, my friends. Ah, Rainbow Dash is calling out the Kyodai. It looks like we're going to kill that bottle of unfiltered this time around. I think there's only one shot left in there. So if it's even in here at all, we may have already killed it. Oh, no, you're trying to hide from me. bottle wasn't actually sent to me. I picked this one up myself, but I mean, come on. It's got birds on it. And it's really tasty. So let's see if there's even enough to toast with this one here. Well, there's probably enough for another one left after this. Well, thank you all so much for kicking it all the way up into level six. Of course, that means the clock is reset. You got three and a half minutes to see if you can break this level. If you make it past 10, you get another shot and a pirate song as well. But cheers to you for tossing out so many subscriptions here. Remember, all the music you hear on this show is paid for through your subscriptions and bits. And all the lumber and drywall and screws and more screws and concrete and everything going into the recording studio in my backyard. That's all paid for by this as well. So thank you guys so much. I hope you'll raise a toast with me to each other. This is by far the most amazing community I've ever seen on Twitch. The most amazing community I've ever been a part of. You are selfless. You are kind. You're intelligent. You're welcoming. And you don't mind pouring some liquor into a bird once in a while. So cheers, my friends. And let's ride out that remaining two minutes and 40 seconds in this train here.
seconds left on that. You're halfway through level six, which is pretty darn far, if you ask me. So thank you very much for pushing it as far as you have. This outpouring of support doesn't just support me. It supports the artists who make the music that I'm buying week after week after week. And of course, it supports each other with an ad-free viewing experience. 60 seconds left. Six. Thank you guys very much with 25 gift subscriptions and 100 bits. album into the trees you can find all these tracks by the way at avianinvasion.com slash patreon at least the uh, the officers club versions my mixes these are all mastered by Hausman. And oh god were they good so there was a question in here from one of the relative newcomers asking if i have ever played at a furry convention before one or two, yes. I've actually been a uh, guest of honor at FWA. Uh, let's see, I, I'm trying to think of, of who's actually made me guest of honor. Why FWA, Wild Nights. Uh, I've been a performing guest at an awful lot of, oh yeah, FC. Uh, trying, to, trying to think of the ones, yeah. 
trying to think of, think of the ones that have actually made me a guest of honor, but a whole lot of them have actually brought me in as a performing guest. Uh, I have played at Anthrocon, of course, MFF several times. Um, ooh, boy. You know what? Yeah, BLFC. That's right. BLFC I've played a few times. As a matter of fact, if you go to avianinvasion.com slash YouTube, you can see some live concert footage from everywhere from BLFC to FC to the various other Cs that are out there. As a matter of fact, the last big show that I played at a convention was back-to-back with DJ Rekka. And oh, my God. <laughs> that was one of the best shows I have ever played. The audience was on fire. My stage partner was on fire. Even though we were both sweating profusely, we were still somehow on fire. It was one of the most amazing experiences of my life, and I can't wait to do it again sometime. Ah, yes, Anthro Northwest as well. Some of y'all have been working crew for me at some of these conventions. The underthanked, underpaid, underfed, and definitely underslept AV crews at these conventions are my lifeblood. They are the reason I sound good at all. So please, if you are ever at one of these conventions and you're in the main stage area, go all the way to the back of the room where those tired, tired looking people are sitting on this little riser. And please give them your thanks. Let them know how good everything sounds because they work so hard all weekend just to make you happy. Mist has actually spent a whole lot of Seeds of Awesomeness for a shout-out. And I strongly concur with this sentiment. Volunteer for your local furry con. They can definitely use your help.
Drop Jackal W404 tossing out five gift subscriptions as a one man hype train. Thank you so much. As Jackal W404 says, Malort, you know you want it deep inside you. Well, I'll tell you right now, the only way Malort is getting into me is if we bust past not just the next goal, but the one after that as well. You see, the next tip jar goal, every $500 on the uh, tip jar train here. We have a milestone shot. We're at uh, just about 2,500 right now, which means as soon as we make it to three grand, I'm not doing a Malort shot. In this case, it is industry's contribution to the channel here. The milestone moonshine this is 110 proof unaged corn whiskey here. Of course, once we make it to 3,500, then it's another Malort shot. And as soon as we finally make it to four grand for a new, well specked out Max Studio for the new, well, actual studio, a Moonlord shot. That's right. One shot of Malort, one shot of 135 proof stream ending moonshine. So if you want this level of chaos, the only way to do that is through the tip jar. Avianinvasion.com slash tip jar. I am not putting this in me just for any whole reason, I assure you. Holy cow. This is legitimately a fire hazard right here.
Did I want to find you here? And I have found you here. There's some new faces in the chat. I keep saying faces as though I can actually see your faces. Maybe I can. Regardless, welcome to all the newcomers who are not causing problems. We're heading into the third hour of this show, which means there's only a little bit less than 90 minutes left before I have to skedaddle. So enjoy yourselves, pour yourself a drink. And wherever you are, feel free to dance with reckless abandon, as long as you're not in your car. not done with the streak of generosity here tossing out a gift subscription to the newcomer they've given out 516 gift subscriptions now i can legitimately say this show is brought to you by natolu for all your natolu needs Thank you. 
are alive. You are beautiful. You are not alone. Free your mind.
actually make it to 630 today it is once again a thousand degrees in here we need to start turning the air conditioning on in this house i believe Either that or i need to invent lights that don't emit heat I will say the cold shots of sake have been helping a lot. So thank you for the hype trains and the random shots. goodness continuing the train even though it's rolled into a station natolu is personally getting out and pushing that sucker one railroad tie at a time thank you for tossing out a gift subscription to dj lav hopefully this music can warm you up a little bit that's right my friends we may be 
approaching the heat of summer here in the northern hems. But down in Argentina, which is basically South America's Alaska, for those of you in the States. Apparently they're freezing their butts off. So have a nice hot cup of cocoa or coffee or a hot buttered rum if you're feeling saucy. While I enjoy the cool, cool shots of sake from the liquid library behind me. Looks like I'm doing another cold shot. Thank you to no one here in the chat for spinning that wheel one more time and spending 12,000 seeds of awesomeness for a shot here. It's time for a toast. was once again brought to you by Zero Key Wolf here in the chat. We call it the Toilet Saki. For those who don't know, you should look up what American Standard is. They may not have that wherever, in whatever country you are, but uh, it's a brand of something else besides Saki. In this case, it's a flavor from Colorado Saki Company, and it is time for a nice chilled toast. And I have just the thing to toast to. Oh, are we killing this bottle? Oh, there's definitely less than a shot left in there. Let me see. I don't know if I top that off too much. I'll spill it everywhere. Thank you for the spit shield here. So, I don't know if he's listening. I don't know if he can hear me or if he is cursing and swearing at the top of his lungs, but here's to Falquin's Breaks. If you want context, you're going to have to ask Falquin about that one. In any case... Cheers. Mm. Oh, that is so very good. And it is so good, in fact, the little splash. It's barely even a splash. It's a splish. There is so very little left in here. I should pour this into the brake reservoir of the Ford Mustang II, the 1970s Ford Mustang II that's parked in my driveway right now, with a very angry werewolf cranking away underneath it. Here's to you, my friend. And another one goes down. The liquid library gets a little smaller this time. And yes, I will remember to take it out of the rotation. But in any case, it's time to move on to other spirits. Some of you may not like sake. Some of you may prefer other things. We also have meads here. Of course, there's Malort and Moonshine for the tip jar goals. But for some of you, I know what you prefer. I know what you like. Kick drums and red wine. Send me to the sky with you. I look across the room. Katie's dress in full bloom. Yellows and blues. But I 
prefer kick drums and red wine. I prefer kick drums and red wine. I prefer kick drums and red wine. I prefer kick drums and red wine. Some people fight it with emotion. Some with gold and some with burger. Some like praying to the blue skies. Some like putting on a disguise. But I prefer kick drums and red wine. 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 Some look to the sky for truth. I look across the room. Katie's dressing for blue, yellows and blues. But I prefer kick drums and red wine. 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 Some people fight it with devotion. Some with gold and some with bourbon. Some like praying to the blue sky. Some like putting on a disguise. But I prefer kick drums and red wine. 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 And once again, the Tolu tossing out another gift subscription to Kina Mori. Thank you so much, my friend.
in the last hour of this show. Once again, I got a hard cutoff time of 6.30 p.m. Pacific time. And let me tell you, I'll be ready to get out of here because it is now 1,000 degrees Celsius, Fahrenheit, maybe even Kelvin, who knows. But do not fret, we will have an episode of the Early Bird Breakfast at 9 a.m. Pacific time this Friday. That's right, the same day I got to fly out of here for a little family trip over the weekend. And assuming all goes well, I'll be back next Monday after that for Trance Invasion at 3 p.m. Pacific time, avianinvasion.com slash live. But hey, we still got about 45 minutes left to party here. So do join me in celebrating. Because these vibes give me life. And hopefully, they're doing a little for you as well.
Y'all must be vibing an awful lot right now. The chat has gone weirdly quiet. To quote some of my robotic brethren, are you still there? goodness thank you very much philaris for resubscribing three months now thank you so very very much for supporting the invasion this is a little track called uncharted skies from yours truly and you can find this one on base rebels records just head to avianinvasion.com slash uncharted
My goodness, Natolu just trickles them out one at a time and apparently will never stop. Thank you very much for tossing out yet another gift subscription to Serene. Right as I kick it over to friend of the show, Hausman, with his remix of Deza's Ghost. We only got about 30 minutes left in this show right now because it is hot as hell in here. This was our place. I felt you there. And I am looking forward to a nice cold beer after I'm, I'm done here. Your presence, and I'm not scared. Of course, in 30 minutes, that means we need to figure out who we're rating next. This was our place. I felt you there. I'm more your presence, and I'm not scared. But thank you so very much for your generosity once again. Another bombshell dropped by Natolu. Holy cow. Subscription by Andrew Connix and a, a couple hundred bits from Matt C188. We are doing this again. Get on board, everybody, because it's happening. All aboard the hype train. Oh my god, a third hype train once again. Okay, so what's on screen right now absolutely lies because with the uh, the 10 gift subscriptions tossed out earlier, it's already 30% of the way through level four. For those of you who are new here, here's how it works. I'll make it brief. Every time a hype train starts on this channel, oh, I guess it just auto-updated anyway. I don't need to fix it because we just broke level five and we're into level six. Valaris tossed out another 10 gift subscriptions. So that means we're starting this train with a double shot. How it usually works is when a hype train starts around here, we start with an engine shot. If we make it past level three, I'll play you an original track. And of course, if we break any multiple of... Hype train level five. Then we chase it with a caboose shot. But since we're already into level six by 10% right now, it is time to bust it out. Okay, uh, looks like Wild Card 9 has spun the wheel of shots and it landed on the American Standard. We literally just killed that and I didn't have a chance to take it out of the rotation, so let's see if we can run that wheel one more time. Or if you know it's in the Liquid Library, please feel free to just call one out and I'll get to it as soon as I can. But the train is rolling with four minutes left. And remember, I need two shots because we've already made it to the first caboose. All right, Ciala's calling out the basil rum. We can make that happen. You know, I should probably call up a, a track while I'm doing this here. Figure out what that second shot is gonna be. We've got one with the basil rum. We need another one now. Oh, and I've got just the thing for this, too. Another track from the new album. Here's a little 
little track for you, an avian... Oh, I'll let the robot do it. An avian invasion original. Ah, there we go. We've got the Takara plum wine. So we're doing basil rum and plum wine. That ought to be an interesting combination. I'll get to the uh, the singing and the guitar in just a minute, but right now i got to stay ahead of the curve here. I, I can't believe it's in level six already, and you still have more than two and a half minutes to see how far it'll go. So here's a little track to help you take on the world. This is Bring on the World from Avian Invasion. All right, it's toast time, my friends. Thank you very much to Ciala for tossing the basil rum my way from Muddy River Distillery. And of course, to Pup Casey for his contribution of the plum wine. Normally we don't do these two shots at a time, but normally a hype train doesn't rocket all the way to level six in a matter of seconds. I'm guessing they've installed some sort of portal technology at the last station. So here's to those of you who are suffering in the heat or freezing in the cold right now, but still keeping your spirits up. I hope this music warms you if you're in the Southern Hems. And I hope that the, uh, the beats are chill <laughs> if you're up here in the Northern Hems. I'm really stretching for this one. I apologize, but cheers, my friends. Oh, that basil is so very good. 60 seconds left on that train. I swear to God, it had some kind of like jet assisted takeoff or something down the track. So here's to everyone who's lending a hand to someone in need. Whether it's just saying a kind word to somebody who looks like they could use it, shelling out money, helping fix a car, letting somebody stay at your place indefinitely. Here's to those whose first instinct is to say, how can I help? You are what is going to change this planet and steer it towards a brighter future. I know it's hard. You are doing the good work. And thank you once again for that hype train. It rocketed all the way to level six with 22 gift subscriptions at 500 bits. An extra special thank you to Natolu for kicking it off with an obscene amount of uh, gift subscriptions. Followed, of course, by Philaris as well with another 10. Somebody else tossed one out, tossed out like five or ten in there as well, and I might have missed it. Oh, goodness. All right, I'm having trouble keeping up here, so cheers to you, all of you, for helping make this quadrant of the galaxy a better place.
Anderson Mayhem. Uh, Nick Cusey wanted some singing and Cialo wanted some guitar. And we can absolutely make that happen. Here's a little track that I released uh, sometime last year on the Procedural Generation EP. This is a track called Love For You Tonight. An Avian Invasion Original. Odinson 251, what a heckin' Wednesday. This happens damn near every Wednesday. I can't believe it.
so far and of course we're calling out a little bit of singing and a little bit of guitar and we only got about 15 minutes left in this show and we are going to make the absolute most of it
But don't worry, I'll be back Friday morning for the early bird breakfast before I catch a long flight. All right, it's only an hour long flight. Uh, heading to Spokane, Washington on Friday. And I'll be back, of course, for another party like this one Monday at 3 p.m. Pacific time for Trans Invasion. But now I need to know where do we head after this? Give me your raid suggestions here in the chat at avianinvasion.com slash live because we need to spread this love with some other folks, preferably people spinning some progressive house or something similar.
Robinson for tossing 3667 in the tip jar. We are, of course, raising funds for a new computer for the studio here, and that brings us up to $25.50.04 out of a grand total of 4000 Of course, as soon as we make it to the next $500 mark, that $3,000 mark. Oh, no, it's not this. It's not the barrel-aged Malort. That can completely fuck off. The next milestone shot is, of course, going to be the Milestone Moonshine. 110 proof provided by Impistry here from Palmetto Moonshine. So thank you very much for sending it my way here. Oh, you were off by four cents. Uh, don't don't worry about it. If you're trying to make funny numbers, try to do like PayPal four cents. This is not worth it. Thank you very much for helping me get a much better machine inside this studio. We're going to abuse this track once again for the closer. this show to a close it is 6 30 and it is also coincidentally 630 degrees kelvin in here right now and uh we are going to head to drew mac this time around 
As much as I would love to hit that other channel that uh, Andrew Connix recommended if they're having video issues, I don't want to, you know, push you into somebody who's having technical difficulties because you get enough of that from me on a regular basis. So we're going to head to Drew Mac Orange, but I will see you once again Friday morning at 9 a.m. Pacific time for some chill beats you can put on in the background at work. The early bird breakfast. Bright and early in the Seattle sunshine. But for now, I have to leave you with the giant robot voice once again. And I'll see you next time. Thank you for listening. This show only exists because of dedicated patrons like these. If you want to hear more, the invasion needs you at avianinvasion.com slash Patreon. Look for Avian Invasion on Spotify, Mixcloud, YouTube, and everywhere dance music is sold, streamed, or enjoyed. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. Until next time, Bird One reminds you that you are alive, you are beautiful, and you are not alone.